welcome to Dream Team Coach TV with Betway. I'm Sean Burke and joining me is Jack Townsend, Andy Taylor and the journalistic Janino, Nick Elliott. If you're new to the wow. channel, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to see more videos like this. And Jack, that is a fantastic outfit you've got. Uh, <laughs> it's all right, this. I mean, I'm, I don't know what I am. Yeah. Uh, can, can you tell me what I am? I think you're a bunny. Bunny. Yeah. It's like a Japanese Easter bunny. Version, like, Lay a few know, eggs throughout the show. <laughs> yeah. Bunnies don't lie in. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> observant there. <laughs> Should I just give a little spin? Oh, look, yeah. little look at the tail. Oh. oh, it's adorable. Nice. That's nice. Uh, All right, so we'll forget about that from now on. Yeah, 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 just yeah. The mystery word game is still limping along, and this week's word or phrase should be appearing on your screen now. So keep an eye out for that. Can I just say 100% record? So far, so if it is me, what, that's be what? careful. Be careful if it is me. <laughs> I'm watching you this week. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night for Unai Emery's career at Arsenal as he was sacked by the club last week. In the meantime, he's been replaced by Freddie Youngberg, Arsenal invincible and underwear model, who was always known for his tight ball control. Is this good news or bad news for Arsenal? Well, just to add to that, it sounds like he's the full package. Oh, <laughs> nice. There will be an accompanying photo somewhere on your screen. Um, sorry, how many Arsenal fans do you reckon can spell Lundberg, by the way? I actually cool. misspelled it earlier this week as well. Oh. Wrong. I feel like we might as well start this with asking how you feel personally. Because, yeah. you know, we might as well utilise the fact we have an Arsenal That's fan true, yeah. here. I always forget now. that. Oh, yeah, I have an Arsenal fan. <laughs> <laughs> like, were you relieved what was going on? <laughs> I was a little bit, to be honest. I know earlier in the season we talked about, like, what, how would you feel about him staying on? And I was like, oh, just give him to the end of the season. But I didn't think things would uh, fall apart quite as quickly. You know, with Jack at first and then the results just not picking up whatsoever. It seems like the, complete, the team have complete lost faith in him. Supposedly there's, like, communication issues as well. I just think it's time to move on. Also, to add to that, <coughs> it's not only has his own team and players like lost faith in him. Mm. Like, do you see the um, the guy interviewing him, absolutely mocking him? No. Uh, yeah, there's a guy oh, post yeah, game just where he's like, "Good evening. You've not had a good evening. Yeah. <laughs> what do you yeah. make of that performance?" Yeah. <laughs> like, like, at what that point is, is that like, that's xenophobia? Because yeah. he's a foreigner. Like, yeah. oh, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Can Perfect. we spare a thought for Arsenal fan TV as well? So what can they say now? They've got to wait a few well, weeks before they go yeah. Lumberg. Well, I, think, I thought, I I thought yeah. Freddie out was uh, trending about half an hour into their first game. Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he didn't didn't cover himself in too much. It's a bit glory, weird because usually when there's like when you have like a caretaker, mm. they just like it's such an easy thing to be like right, basically pick the side that the fans want, mm. and you'll, you'll get it on your side a bit. But he, he picked an Emery team, didn't he? Like, yeah, he thought yeah. he was like Mustafi, Xhaka, and uh, it was a real like staying with it. Like, I thought he would have just gone right. Even if we lose, if I, I might as well just go, right, Ozil, Pepe, Lacazette, yeah. Abemi, like, you might as well just go for the one that people want to see. And then if it doesn't work, it's like, at least I was, at least I was on your side. Mix it up a bit, at yeah. least. But one thing that's, I don't know, I can't understand where Rodgers is coming from, Brendan Rodgers. Fair enough, he's linked to the job. He's doing such a good job at Leicester. Mm. But I just don't know why he's being so generic in the press. I don't know why he doesn't just come out and go... I don't want the Arsenal job, I'm staying at Leicester. Why are you not doing that? If I was a Leicester fan, I'd be slightly concerned. If I was Brendan Rodgers, I'd be even more concerned if you're actually considering going to Arsenal over Leicester right now. Who would want to go to Arsenal? Mm. Right, honestly, who would want to go to Arsenal? Worst fan base in the country. You ha only have to lose one game against poor side, and that's it. There's a hashtag with your name saying, without at the end of it. I don't understand. I mean, I, you, you couldn't pay me to say that Arsenal job. Uh, I mean, I've already had a, yeah, I've already had a, I've already had a call from Cronky, and I've said, "Look, <laughs> look Stan, it's not for me." I've got to do Coach TV. Yeah, it's not for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, using our dream team sources, we've got an inside look at Arsenal's search for a new manager. Let's have a look. What do you want to bring to this club? Character and uh, intensity and uh, the keys to Jurgen Klopp's house. That could be useful. But why would you want to leave Leicester? James Madison keeps beating me at poker. Your international record is quite impressive, son. 100% win rate, that's no lie. The only thing is, you're a bit too, uh, how do I say this? English. The fans want someone exotic, someone exciting. What if I change my name to Samuel Aladizio? Wow, you got the job, man. Get in. Are you serious, like? Yeah, we've been looking for someone to serve the food in the canteen. So, Ian Emmett, tell me a bit about yourself. Where did you grow up? I'm from Harrogate, and I love pace. Hmm. And how would you pronounce this word? Uh, Ebering? 
Get out. Just send me in the next candidate. This better not be another phony. Uh, hello? I'm from Gettering, and uh, I love pies. I like your style, son. You can have the job on one condition. Guess que c'est? I would do anything to be back. Uh, I mean, to work here. Teach David Luiz how to defend. Ah, oh, merde. Lads, put your hands up if you know what's wrong with VAR. Yep, that's right, it's another terrible handball decision in the Southampton-Watford game as officials missed a blatant handball by Musa Gianapo in the lead up to their first goal. How does this keep happening when they have the benefit of video replay? I think that's the well, main thing, really. Well, what are they doing at Stockley Park? I don't know. Because they, it was because they didn't have the right angle, supposedly, yeah. but then they found it ten minutes later, well, which like is like... Surely. Would have been amazing if they ruled it out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been. Ten minutes later, By the way, sorry, stopped. that whole ten minutes doesn't count. We've got to go with that. Uh, that's the worst one for me yet. Yeah. Would you agree? That's saying something because you've had some. Well, we've had. <laughs> I mean, we, I, we, Wolves have literally lost points because of this handball rule. Mm -hmm. I've seen other clubs have the same thing, and they were ten ten times less visible as what this one was. I mean, literally, he's, he's cushioned it into his path and put the ball across. I mean, I mean, what on earth? Are, literally, what are you doing? You've got one job, right, just to go and check that instant of the play. And apparently that, well, from what I've listened to Dermot Gallagher, and he said that, uh, oh, we were so busy, like, looking at the Danny Ings control that we kind of, like, forgot about that someone put the ball in. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Busy. And also, another excuse they said was that, he said, we can't, I know this isn't an excuse, but it was like, no one appealed for the handball, so it was like, it wasn't as obvious to us. Oh, that That's really shouldn't be a part of it say, all. There's been penalties I mean, given uh, this season that no one's appealed for. And yeah. they go, oh, by the way, that's yeah. a penalty. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Mm. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what like is the next step of this. How about that though? Sure. Leicester and Liverpool got another VAR decisions go their way at the weekend. What an absolute shock that is. <laughs> Conspiracy, is it? Did you see, that? Did you see the, the foul on Connolly in the build up to the Liverpool goal? I mean, blatant foul, but it's obviously yeah. Liverpool, so we just you, we don't you, we don't give them, do we? Do if that was if that was if that was against Wolves, what straight off uh, Jimenez never, red card straight yeah. off. So what, 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 what do you think? What do you so you think the VAR favours Liverpool? Do you? I just feel like it what might be harder not, to give it against them. I don't know. You think what? There's a con, there's a conspiracy. They all they all got together. And I don't know. It's just well, yeah. do you, okay. Well, I'm so asking you. Yeah. I'm just saying it always goes in their favour. I'm not yeah, but that, allegating anything. You're heavily implying. Yeah, that that it doesn't matter. Is. Why? Hey, what, take so, me to court. I'm not saying <laughs> it. I'm not will. saying it. And these conspiracies. <laughs> it should be an extension I mean, of the show. <laughs> Man City dropped more points last weekend and the gap at the top is growing faster than the vein on Pep's forehead. To put the top six into perspective, we've made a helpful visual metaphor. It's the dankest part of the week. The lads submit a football meme to the Dream Team Instagram page and you folks get to vote on your favourite. Producer Graz, let's have a look. This All is right. me. This is Nick's. This is me. Um, like this just really like the photo of the gold I thought yeah. it was very good. rubbish yeah. bag. And yeah. I thought, you know, it's all rubbish. But one of them is actually, he's still rubbish, but he's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice wrong meme. Right, let's see what's up next. Oh, it's a video on one of these Oh, 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 oh. Oh. But, but what the person one person got away there doesn't need to be <laughs> yeah no, but it was just the crowd behind that person. no chance doesn't need to be written there though because like this is keeping his job yeah and then something comes along that ruins it like you, I, you don't need to <laughs> i think you do i think the, i just wanted to hammer it home i get i was on and iron about the no chance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i just wanted to hammer it home all right and let's see the last one so me and nick had similar themes with rubbish bags yeah, yeah nice yeah. nice yeah. definite theme this week <laughs> oh it was a bit jumbled. It's a bit messy yeah. though, isn't yeah. it? Oh, look at all the state of that. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Mitchell's. what is going on with that text on there, mate? It's been uh, a while, Nick. In you third won. place is is Jack. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. And he's, that's you know what? It's the oh, all this is available to manager. So this is this is what it boils down to: right. video v <laughs> still image. An, an average. Come video on, Nick. Versus a great still <laughs> image. Come on, Nick. Okay, that means the winner is. Don't say what I think you're going to say. <laughs> Please, Nick. 
Please, I'm Nick. Sorry, I guess we can see. Andy. Oh. <laughs> How was that one? This is the, I'm, I'm honestly on fire. Wave labelled no chance. On fire. Has won the, the, away, no the away chance. section again going absolutely wild. You water, should be ashamed though. of yourself. It's the Manchester Derby this weekend at the Etihad, and Pep can't afford to lose any more points. And Ollie's got a sneaking suspicion that he's just keeping a seat warm for a more attractive candidate. Uh, but anyway, you lads have prepared a few relevant stats to test me with. Two are true, one is false. Take it away. Who's up first? Andy, let's hear yours. Okay, so uh, Paul Pogba mm -hmm. has more goals in Manchester derbies than Sterling and De Bruyne combined. Nick? Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has more Premier League assists this season than the whole Man United squad combined. Could that be true? All right, Jack. Right, since uh, Alex Ferguson left, Man City have earned over 100 points more than Man United. That was like 2013, right? Yeah. It's a long old Man time. City, yeah, 100 right. points is like, that's like a good season's worth of points. Well, that, well points a record-breaking yeah. season's worth of points. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, a, I don't know. In five years, that's a lot. I remember Paul Pogba scoring a couple of goals in a derby a few years ago. Specifically, that springs to mind. So that makes me think he might actually have a few. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say true, true, false. Reveal yourselves. <laughs> okay, uh, so so m mine's true. Yeah. So Raheem Sterling has never scored in the Manchester derby, and De Bruyne has got one goal. All right. And Pogba did have that two goals. All right. Okay. Mine is false. Yeah. No, don't celebrate. You said yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice try, mate. <laughs> you were celebrating too early. No, oh, VAR. Yeah. <laughs> I mine's, forgot what I said 30 seconds ago. Mine's false, but it is close. So De Bruyne uh, is the... Far and away, the most assists. He's got nine, I think. But United have just about, between them, got more than that. Right, OK. So yours is true. Over true. 100 points. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's mad, right? isn't it? So they're averaging, what, like 15, 18 points ahead of them. Every averaging season, over yeah. the last thing. Wow. That's insane. Oh, man. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not mind the gap. No, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> that's, considerable gap that's over a, the that's years. A good, good stat. I mean, good yeah. real stat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a tough one. I always get one right and one wrong. I need. I want a clean sweep one week. Finish okay, it, so. it is time to take a look at your weekender teams for this weekend. So that's one goalkeeper, two defenders, two midfielders, and two strikers from this weekend's games. Take it away, producer Graz. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Me. <laughs> who, I, who is that goalkeeper? <laughs> well, uh, face of Crystal Palace. Uh, Palace. Uh, yeah, got, like, some of the most clean sheets <laughs> in the Premier League like, was, in the last year. I was tr I was just trying to like mix up the team, not go two one sided. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, nice mix of players there. Let's see who's next. And the Spanical. yeah, just gone for a, a little mix. <laughs> I like Lundstrom against uh, Norwich just because mm -hmm. I feel like Norwich have had a little bit of a resurgence, but it's not going to happen. Sheffield United looked unbelievable against Wolves. I mean, they absolutely battered us for most of the game, so fair play. All right, uh, let's see, Nick. There you okay. go. Oh, Go on, right. back in your boys here a bit, yeah. Andy. Uh, I thought Doherty's now, obviously, like, in Dream Team, he was like the player last season mm -hmm. that surprised everyone. Didn't have that start this season because he was injured a bit and yeah. was out, but now, he's last back. few weeks, really coming back and he's been yeah. picking up points for you fun. You seem like so. popping up from the left wing with a header. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're a right wing back. <laughs> I, thought, I thought about, I was going to go for Chelsea, but I'm still not sure about their defence. Like, you've got what, Yurt Zuma and um, Tamori at centre back. I'm st like, they're still, yeah. it's still not like, I know they're doing well, but. All right. Nice team there, okay. Uh, don't forget to submit your own Weekender <coughs> team, so download the Dream Team app, submit your seven, and you can earn some real money. Just make sure you do it before the weekend's fixtures. It's a good game. Okay. Has the mystery word been said? Mystery word has been said now. It's been said. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's it was been Nick. Said. It was Nick. I, heard I don't it. know what he f said there. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the weekend results from last week. This year, we've made a loser board to help decide which forfeit is carried out. We've got six options. We've got Red Arse, Slap in the Face, Walk on Lego, Cinnamon, Challenge, <laughs> and <laughs> Fancy Dress. The Cinnamon Challenge is one thing. A Cinnamon, a Challenge. <laughs> a challenge. Yeah, we've we've to got. say it. <laughs> what is it. What's the challenge then? Would you, uh, a mystery <laughs> challenge of some kind. Let's see how we fared. Right okay, now. 19. 19 points. Pookie. 
Brilliant. Oh, yes. Yep. See, Thank I feel God. like... I but feel that, that's not a high score, though. I don't 90. think I've done very well, though, either. I feel like it could have beat eight, me. 8-3 eight, and the rest zeros. Okay, uh, moving on. Up. <laughs> oh, 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 Henners! <laughs> that's my guy! Oh. Oh. Never doubted you, Henners, never doubted you. Jesus. Oh, wow. Great shout on Delhi. It's Delian, me, lads. You. It's definitely yes, me. Yes, Henners. Oh, <laughs> always liked you, mate. Always, always <laughs> backed your football knowledge. And here's Andy's. Oh, oh, it's the same what? again. What are the chances? Two so weeks what? in a row. You've been copying, <laughs> copying my yeah, team. We're, my we're both as bad as each other at weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to settle it with another uh, another trivia question. I'm not getting stitched again this week. Well, you yeah. accepted like, it though. No. You didn't. You accepted it only when you Andy's pointed it out. Andy's going first. No, this week. that's not <laughs> yeah, how it works. Yeah, it is. We're right. The question is: so whoever <laughs> guesses closest to the exact capacity. For Tottenham's brand new stadium. Hmm. All right. This is gripping. All right. Okay, we'll go like for Sherlock it. Sherlock over there. All right. Okay. Go on. All right, Andy. What's your guess? Uh, Sixty thousand. Right. Okay. I um, hope. Jack, what do you think? <laughs> Sixty thousand and one. Oh. <laughs> I, th I yeah. I think. I, I think, think sixty-one thousand. That's what I had in my head. Well. Graz, let's hear the answer. Don't say five. Nah, I think it is in the 60s. I've killed myself. Don't say five. 62,614! Oh. <laughs> Our loser of the week this time is goalkeeper Alisson for slapping a ball outside of the box. Normally, Alisson, VAR wouldn't have a problem with that, but it just wasn't your day. I hand him over to you now, Andy. Best of luck. All right. There we go. Okay. All right, then. What do we want to go for? I want to get VAR. Please, come on. VAR has to happen, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah, get your little tootsies out! <laughs> All right. Okay. Go on there. Don't All look right. down. Don't look down. Jack, if you touch me, I'll kill you. <laughs> don't look down. I don't want you to pick where your route. Look up. Yeah, go on. Just what do you mean? You can't pick my route? Uh, I'm stepping on Lego! <laughs> <Yeah. Kick -ups. laughs> How's that? Oh, oh, what is that? It's like a light or something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we threw a few light bulbs in there. Oh! Oh, 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 oh yes. You love it. Oh. <laughs> Get all your weight on there, don't be afraid. Oh, I am. <laughs> uh, where, where else is my weight going right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Lego. <laughs> oh. It's like when you walk on oh. gravel. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> little one after. It's this little one <laughs> after. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I've got. Oh Jesus! Have we drawn blood? Drawn blood? <laughs> Not quite. I don't think we've drawn blood, Almost. but I've got Almost. like the Lego pieces in my foot. Right. Well, hard luck, Andy. That looked uh, nice and painful. Thankfully, yeah. the Legos uh, been cleaned up very quickly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, the mystery word, by the way, was mentioned, and the mystery word was yurt. Which yurt. I said did say yurt Zuma. And, and no, <laughs> I, I, I did notice that. I did notice that. What? What is? What is? What is, what is yurt? It's a Mon Mongolian uh, like kind of tent, basically Hot. house Hot. sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, interesting. I, said yurt I wouldn't Zuma. even. I didn't even know it was a word. Yurt Zuma. Did you, did you, did you not think I thought it was yurt weird, Zuma? yeah, but I was like... Did you think I didn't know I what thought it was Zuma's a, first I thought was. it was an awkward pronunciation from you, uh, so I was just like... Well, that's what I thought. Oh, I right. I'm not going to pick him up on that. play. It is a word. Yeah. When you said it, it to me, I was like, what's that? And then I just, for some reason, straight away went, yurt yeah. Zuma. <laughs> Perfect. I, mean. so I was going to say that. Um, so and if you'd like to play the Weekender game as well, make sure to sign up now. Download the Dream Team app and pick your seven players. Just make sure you do it before the weekend's fixtures, because you can win real money. Right, well, thanks very much for watching uh, Dream Team Coach with Betway. Uh, if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel because we make these like pretty much every week. Mm. Anyway, see you next week. Ciao.